Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, is anyone here? Is anyone here? like blood on that skylight on the outside. What the hell? I mean, it's possible it's paint or something else, but it certainly looks blood. Looks like a big blood splatter. That's kind of creepy. What's this? What? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. creepy down there. Look at this hole that goes all the way through to the bottom down there, to, down to the lower level. That's creepy. It's a hole? Yes. It's don't drop your phone. Whoa. What the hell would that be for? I don't know. I mean, maybe like a laundry chute, but that's really uh, small to I, be a I know, a laundry chute in the middle of the kitchen? Yeah, that's really strange. This... Here goes all the way to the bottom story. This is definitely a, a bit of a, a fixer upper for someone, but it's it could, it's got a lot of potential, but yeah. I feel a heaviness in here. Do you feel it? Yeah, and as soon as I walked into that bathroom, when you walk into the front door to the right, mm -hmm. I felt a gust of cold air. Like you did? Oh. Okay. Here's another bathroom here. You guys, we can tell okay. when we go into houses if there's some kind of presence or anything. And I will say, I do feel like honey. Oh my goodness, that is bad. Now this house is listed as a fixer-upper. And uh, I can definitely see why. It does. This would be a good deal for someone at $80,000. I mean, you can't beat that. But I want to know what's going on here. I'm just kind of feeling it out right now, walking around. This is the outside area. This is really pretty. Floors. It's original hardwood floors. Those are nice. It could just be shined up. Look, look at me. I'm acting like I'm ready to buy this place. Let me walk around and see if it's haunted. So, I don't know. It's just pretty interesting. Now she said that she had a gust of cool air that came at her when she walked into this bathroom. Oh, I just felt it. I just felt it. Okay. Alright, that's the fan. I just felt a gust of cool air and I don't know where it's coming from. Yes, I did, and there's not a window open. Um, I don't know, Heather. There's a vent right there. All right, there is some air coming from this. Okay, you think that's what it is? That must be what it is, yeah. Okay. So we debunked that. It is coming from this hole, which is, should be a vent there. You know, the top is off this attic. I seen that. It's a cedar closet. Yeah. Hello, is there anybody here? We're looking at this home. It's for sale right now. Does that bother you? Okay, now now it's recording a little bit, okay? I just don't know when it's gonna shut off again. I gotta, I gotta really keep an eye on it. Okay, my camera just shut off. Heather was my witness. But that fan, when I came walking out of this closet, was moving. Yeah, that's strange. No, 
she's completely stopped. So that must be that must be one of the things she's talking about. We just witnessed it. Yeah. Um, and then that attic is, mm -hmm. is open. So weird. So weird. I think we should go downstairs. I think we should too. Yeah, let's go downstairs, Heather. That fan had completely stopped and it's going again. Yep. I mean, do you think it's the wind from... I mean, it's possible, but it's there's no windows open in there, are there? things happen downstairs. Yeah, we hear that most of the activity is downstairs, although it's upstairs as well, but the downstairs area is where a lot of the activity has been caught. Hello, anyone here? Hello? like a basement. Okay, so that's where that pipe goes. That pipe that in the kitchen comes right to here. Wow. Hello? Is there anybody here? This is the garage area. She said she had a very eerie feeling in this garage. Is there anybody here? You can speak to me through my camera. I'll hear you. Oh that? shit, something went in my eye. I don't know. Was it this door here? Yeah, I think so. The hell? Oh my god, is it that freaking windy out? So this might be one of the things Hello? That what the hell? It's not that freaking windy out. Well, let's stand, I'm gonna stand here and watch this door for a minute because it's not windy. I was out in the garage. What? Holy crap. That was scary. That scared the crap out of me. I about jumped out of my skin. Who did that? Are you not happy that we're looking at your house? Does that bother you that they're selling it? Come on, make that, make that door close again. God. Oh wow. I heard I heard a noise and I didn't know what it was and I turned around and it's it was something dragging on the bottom. Whoa. Yeah. You hear it? Yes. Okay, you got our attention now. Do you want to talk to us? We'll turn our spirit box on. You can communicate with us. It's trying to move again. It's All right, guys, so shit. I have this light with me also that comes on. It's really bright. It's actually activated from motion. So if there's anything that comes in front of it, um, it people like to use stuff like that for catching paranormal activity. So I'm going to put this over here. 
and maybe in the background. So if it kicks on, clearly we're over here. We're not over there. So right. it wouldn't be us that did it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I set it right over here. It'll be on for a second until it stops. Can you see it in the film? Yes, I can. I'm going to set my camera up facing that way. I'm also going to turn the spirit box on, guys. So let me just put my camera facing that way. So it's facing where the light is. So we're going to keep an eye on the area and yeah, that light. Check and just make sure nobody is out here. Yeah, we don't want anybody to walk up on us in the middle of all this. Because this is a place that's for sale. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. You notice the light back there is off now. So yeah. if anything triggers that light to go off, it's something other than us. Yep. Alright, we're here to make communication with whoever is residing here still. Um, we are paranormal investigators. We do speak to the other side all the time, so feel comfortable and free to talk to us. We come in peace. We, we mean no harm. We mean no disrespect. We are guided and protected by God, and uh, you can't harm us. We are God's children. We are protected by God. We uh, just want to know what's going on, why you're here, and to help you let go of this house. You need to let go of it and you need to move on. You can't attach yourself so long to uh, earthly belongings. You're no longer here. So, oh, sorry about that. All right, so here we go. Talk to us. It's not very loud. Hello? Speak to us. My name is Patty. What is your name? This is Heather. My name is Patty and this is Heather. Who are you? Who's here? Something is draining that box. You, you hear it? Yeah. We're gonna plug Heather's in, guys, because this some, something is not right. It, it's usually a lot louder than that here. Power on. Bluetooth on. Now it's often no. It might be my corner. Hold on. Do you have yours? There it goes. Okay. It is the cord. She wants to make sure there's nobody here. All right, we're gonna try a different cord, guys. I don't know what is going on. I'm gonna plug mine up and see if this helps. There it goes. All right, here we go. Working now? Yeah, okay. Hello there, who's with us? Oh, wow. Okay. Did you use... <laughs> Did you used to live here? All right, I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. Why are you scaring people that are coming to try to buy the place? Oh. Let go. Is that you turning the fans on and off? Is that you slamming the doors? Why are you doing that? 
camera and I see like shadows. Really? Yes. Where at? Over over that way somewhere. By, by, the, the, by the glass sliding doors. Is that you? Okay, there's going to be other people that's going to live here eventually, and you're going to have to leave here. You can't be here and invade on their privacy. And I will come back, whoever buys this place, and help them bless this property. We will sage it and bless it. Grateful? Oh, yeah. Will that be okay if we come back and sage it and bless the house? Will you be okay with that? One more time, tell me your name. So this is the garage that um, our realtor friend said that she gets the creeps every time she walks in this garage more than anything. Yeah, let's see if these openers work. Where's the opener? Here's that opener right here. Let me see. Uh, no, they must, they must be locked. Okay, that must be the power box there. Uh, oh. Sorry, that was me. I was just being nosy looking at the power box. Making sure it didn't look like it was real old. Yeah. Because, you know, if it's a real old one, like the fuse type, yeah. they, they have malfunctions all the time. That's true. Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to throw my cord out now and get a new one because it's not working. So I don't know, uh, I definitely feel something here. I definitely feel something in this house. I'm just gonna wanna walk around a little more. Ooh. As you can see that I just picked oh, up. Oh, okay. I just triggered that to come Okay, on, she just triggered that light. We are gonna be using this in future videos. Um, this was actually one of Greg's ideas to use this, so we're gonna definitely start using this more. Turn it off. This is a neat little shower area. Something keeps drawing me back here to this shower, and I don't know what. Do you have your meter uh, with you? No, it broke. I left it outside by accident. I've got another okay, one on so its I'm way. Back upstairs again. In the upstairs area. We are going to come back here. We're going to do a part two here. We're going to come back here, and we're going to bring Omar with us if he's interested in coming. I could definitely see why somebody would be attached to this house. 
but it's time to move on if you're not here anymore I mean other people could move in here and fix it up wouldn't that make you happy I don't know. I don't know if I bumped something or what. I was just walking in, in through here. I don't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, very true. I'm gonna sit on. Yeah, I'm gonna sit right here on the edge of this fireplace and see. Okay. Okay, so we've walked around to kind of get the feel for the place, and we do feel a presence here. We did hear some things on the spirit box, so we do know that there's. More than likely somebody here and it's probably you're probably people that used to live here either a person or, or there may be more than one i'm not sure but you probably used to live here maybe you died here i don't know but it's time to move on you have to move on go into the light you shouldn't hang out here and scare people because there's a lot of people that may have bought this place but didn't because they got scared because of the weird things that were happening. I would think that you would want to see this place fixed up nice and you know have people enjoy it because it is a beautiful home. Just needs a lot of repairs. So I am going to come back and bless this property. I'm going to bring my sage my crosses, my holy water, and I'm gonna bless this property. Do you have a problem with that? Make something happen if you do. Make something else happen. You can do better than that if that was what you're trying to do. I don't know what that noise was, but. I bet there's a lot of memories in this house. You know, you take all the good memories with you and leave the bad memories behind. Let someone else create good memories here. You can't stay here and linger. Sound like somebody walking. Yeah. What? Is that you? Is that you? Make that ceiling fan go off. Can you do that? I hope that I catch you on camera. I do catch spirits on my camera all the time. So you can try to move in front of where you see my camera pointing and it's very possible I will see you. I could have sworn I just saw something over on that wall right over there. Really? When I said that, yeah, like a shadow. I, I don't know for sure. I'll know when I watch this back. Hmm. Is that you moving over there? What was that that she just saw? 
Come on. Okay. Well, I think they're definitely letting us know that they're here, and that's just signs of that. Are you going to move on now? I mean, you, you can't stay here. People want to buy this place, but they don't want to buy it with their spirits in here. It scares some people. It's like you're doing things to keep people from buying it. And you shouldn't hang on to this place. You should want someone to fix it up and live here and enjoy it and create me memories. So the realtor will be showing this place to someone this afternoon. I cannot wait to hear what happens. I'm going to see if... If you've listened to me and took my advice and uh, not scare people so someone can buy this and fix it up and enjoy it. I can't wait to see what she's going to tell me because so far everyone that has came here to see this place has been pretty much ready to run to their car. We're not running to our car. We want to know who you are and why you're here and what what, what are you doing uh, here? Or that didn't sound right. Why you're so attached to this place? It's almost like you're trying to prevent someone from buying it. Okay. Well, we're gonna come back. We are definitely going to come back. We're definitely going to come back here. Uh, this was basically just, uh, this is our first time here, so this was basically just for us to kind of scope it out, walk around, get the feel for the place, see if we feel anything, see if we see or hear anything. Um, we are going to come back and do a part two here. We also want to check the shed out. There's a shed that they say some weird stuff happens in the shed out back. Um, but. I do think that there's something here. I can't wait to hear those EVPs. Once you see this video, you'll know what the EVPs say as well as me. So I can't wait to come back here again and next time bring a little bit more equipment. Um, this was, like I said, this was our first time. We just kind of wanted to feel it out and see if it was worth even coming back and setting up equipment. I do think that it is. What do you say, Heather? Yeah, you agree? definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely agree. Maybe we could bring the grid lights. Um, bring some more stuff with us. Yeah. I have another meter that'll you hold the button and it'll beep when you when it picks up. Yes. The so we'll use that too. I uh, will also bring uh, the rim pods. I do have some rim pods I'm getting this weekend, and um, so I'm gonna bring the rim pods here as well. We can set those up. So yeah, we'll come back and we'll set up some more equipment. Hopefully, we caught something on camera. Hopefully, you guys will see something. If if I miss something, make sure you point it out. Hopefully we will see something on camera. Um, I know we had a few things happen and everything, but hopefully you guys will actually catch a ghost on camera. Yeah. A spirit. Because it happens all the time. I keep thinking I see something over there. Mm -hmm. Like right over, I'm gonna zoom in, right in that area. I keep thinking I see something right in there. It keeps catching my eye. Anyway, all right, so we're going to go ahead and go. So look forward to the next video. Hopefully Omar will be with us. We are going to invite him. And uh, we're going to do a part two here, so that will be next.